gonna be drunk, bitch. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Woo! How y'all doing today, honey? Okay. My name is Jamaica. And, um, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm just playing. I just thought I'm not drunk at all, y'all. Do y'all like my nails? I got yellow nails, and I've just been feeling like. I've been feeling like an aura, like a yellow aura, like the sunny vibe, you know what I'm saying? I've been having so much energy, and so I got yellow nails today. Ooh, child, like, I'm, if I'm looking like crazy, it's because these lashes feel, I don't know, like, if I, okay, if I look like a spider, like, if I got spiders on my eyes, comment the spider emoji under this YouTube video. <laughs> spiders on my eyes, comment that, okay? Because these new lashes, I'm trying them. Child, I don't do long, long lashes for you because so these got me like, you know, looking crazy. But anyway, honey, I'm looking at my lashes. I feel like, I don't want to feel like getting cute, girl. Uh, oh, excuse me. I feel like getting cute, child, because <clears throat> you know, I, gotta, I gotta be cute for the first few videos, you know what I'm saying? I gotta be cute. I gotta, you know, I, I ain't gonna be cute every video, child. I gotta, ease out into it, you know what I'm saying? I can't just like hey, put it on you like that, you know. It, I'm, I don't want to scare you like that, okay? So I just gotta ease you into it, you know. I'm gonna be cute for these first few videos. Then after that, child, I don't know, it'll probably be a dog. But anyway, <laughs> as you can see, I'm a, just a slight tad bit litty right now. And you think you're looking up, I'm looking at Love Hip Hop on your TV because I'm ratchet. But yeah, I'm a tad bit litty right now. And I'm in my favorite shirt ever. And as you can see, it's a different setup, okay? Uh, it's a different setup. I'm talking too much. We're going to get to the video in a minute. But it's a different setup because it's nighttime. I can't film with the natural sunlight. So I had to make some shape with this. I, this this just went come in good for fun because I should have done schoolwork with it, okay? So let's just go and jump right into this video. In case you haven't noticed <sighs> what's in my hand. It's wine, okay? And if you don't know this about me, I know a lot of my friends, like people follow me on Snapchat know this, they know that I love wine, okay? And I want to share my love, and people always ask me about it for real, for real, so I just want to share my love of wine, which, you know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, show y'all the most affordable wine brand and also the ones that taste the best the best and the worst because it's some worse ones out there and they the new the ones that's like the expensive ones we're gonna we're gonna get into this tea honey because let me the ones that be kind of like the more expensive ones when i say expensive i mean like 15 dollars like to me that's expensive for wine because you can get this right here for how much i pay for this seven dollars or six dollars and you're gonna be sure popping okay because this wine is bomb and I'm gonna give us the best brands and the worst brands. I'm just gonna give y'all all the tea on the wine, okay? I'm gonna give y'all all the tea on the wine, okay? So, throughout this video, I might take a couple sips. A little, you know, a couple sips of the wine, you know what I'm saying? So, hmm. if I get a little tipsy, it's okay. I'm, this video may or may not be edited tonight it, it may may not be you know what i'm saying but we're gonna try to you know we just gonna do what we do you know what i'm saying we have fun on this channel okay we gonna have fun tonight all right so <laughs> i'm gonna start off with i'm gonna start off with let's just start off with like a couple of tips oh disclaimer i'm 21 years old and i'm very legal to drink if i want to drink okay i can drink a fucking tub of beer if i want to okay i don't need nobody coming on here talking about how old are you nothing like that i'm 21 years old just turned 21 february 1st okay hi how are you <sighs> anyway oh no disclaimer i don't condone underage drinking so if i have any viewers out there that are under the age of 21 in usa or what is it 18 18 in mexico 19 in Canada, I don't know, 14 in Europe, you know. If I got any viewers out there under the age, sip your damn apple juice 
and we gonna have fun too but you just gotta sip your damn apple juice okay we don't do the underage drinking over here we don't play that i'm i'm gonna be our mama right now we don't play that shit you're not missing out on nothing wait till your age don't try to grow up for your time we gonna have fun though we still gonna have fun i'm still teach you and then when you turn 19 or 21 or 18 or 14 whatever the hell it is over there in europe or the uk you can drink okay 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 now this is the very first wine that i'm drinking and this is a new one that i tried the other day y'all this is like one of the very first i'm gonna put this top on here before i waste something this is one of the very first ones that i tried let me put it up to the camera hopefully it focuses and i don't know if it will or not but yeah this one is called oh let me start with the brand this first brand i'm gonna start off with is barefoot now i'm gonna just gonna tell you the best from the now this is not the best one that i've had but i'm gonna show you the best one that i had it's in my refrigerator i might take a sip of that too child we just gonna be sipping all night okay i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna sip it and then tell you how it tastes okay now this one I just got the other day. I've been sampling all kind of wines lately. You know, I I, I don't know, because I used to just drink one type of wine. And that was like, this. I'm, I'm just getting all off subject. That was this, um, damn, what is it called? I'm going to insert a clip of it because I took a clip of it in the store. And it was that brand. And I used to drink it with my ex or whatever. And then, the, oh my God, I used to love that wine honey that was like the best that is still is like my favorite wine to this day and yeah i think oh my god it's so it's so fucking good i might go get some tomorrow to be honest like i literally I'm, buy wine every other day like if y'all see my refrigerator right now okay uh, oh yeah back to my story i started um just like experimenting with other wines after i broke up with him because i was just like you know i want to drink that can remind me of him Ugh, you know what i'm saying so I just decided to start experimenting with other, you know, other wines and whatnot. So I discovered what was that the first one that I got? Hmm, I think it was Stella, it was either Stella Rose or it was like Arbor Mist. Ooh, we're gonna get into ooh, girl. We're gonna get into the gag on Arbor Mist, honey. We're gonna start with Barefoot though, because this is like my favorite right now. So, girl, so I got into this um Barefoot child. And the very first barefoot wine that I tried was like, I think it was the pink Moscato. That, that, that's some good shit, okay? Now, the pink Moscato, it has like 13.5% alcohol in it, if I'm not mistaken. It's either 13.5% or 9.7% alcohol. Now, wine drunk and liquor drunk is different, you know what I'm saying? Anybody who drink wine can tell you this, they'll let you know this. It is different, baby. Honey, wine drunk will have you feeling like you crossfaded. Like, I don't know how crossfaded is because I don't smoke or drink. I don't like to smoke. Well, I smoke. Oh, I drink, but I don't smoke. Like, I don't like to smoke. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like to get in my hair. Ugh. Mm -mm. It's just it's just nasty. Okay. But I drink. And I, and I imagine that it like the feeling of feeling high and drunk at the same time because you're like calm and you are serene, but still you feeling like you know, bitch, you know what I'm saying? So, girl, when I tell you, wine drunk is the best drunk. Anybody who drinks wine will tell you this. My ladies out there, y'all, or oh, men, whoever, if whoever drink wine out there, honey, comment below and tell me which wine, which drunk is the best drunk to you, wine drunk or liquor drunk. I say wine drunk because I like feeling more chill, you know what I'm saying? Maybe liquor drunk in my younger days, you know, my, my freshman days. Oh, this, no, let me put this play in my head too. I didn't start drinking until I was like 19 in um, college, my freshman year. And my roommate, hey Cassandra, and her sister, hey Cassandra, they bought me um, my bottle for my birthday. It was a bottle of Peach New Amsterdam. I think that's what everybody started off with. Is it crazy? I did, what was y'all first drink? Comment down below. I'm just trying to get y'all to comment any damn thing y'all gonna comment, okay? I'm gonna get y'all to comment. We're gonna interact on this channel, okay? So, I think it was like Peach New Amsterdam, and it was so, 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 so good to me. Like, I was just chugging it. Like, at first, it wasn't going nothing funny. I think I always had like a high alcohol tolerance, even when I didn't drink, which is so weird. But, um, hold on. So yeah, girl, let me put me another little glass real quick. Um, 
Yeah, girl, I didn't start drinking until like, I was like 19 or something like that. And because my mama, she ain't playing shit. I, and then I didn't want to like disrespect her. Because, you know, I just I just don't have time. Like, I love my mom. I respect my mom. So I'm not going to disrespect her and be drinking, you know, stuff like that. You know, if my mom was a drinker, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't mind to drink with her. But she's not a drinker. And she just didn't. You know, and I've had other stuff going on. Like, I was, like, majoring and stuff. I didn't want to get no beer belly. And right about now, I don't, I don't really care, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to lose the beer belly, but this is besides the point. Okay, I'm just getting all off subject, child. Okay, now, back to what I was saying. But, yeah, I, you know, I was just, that was my first time ever really drinking. Okay, honey, my camera cut off, child. I mean, look, I was talking so damn much. Like, I told, like, a whole story. I don't even remember what I'm saying. I left off at like um when I started drinking, if I'm not mistaken. Whatever. Anyway. I didn't start drinking until I was like 19. Cause my mama didn't play that shit. Okay. She would have been wrong my neck, okay? If you have a mother if you have a mother that's from Montgomery, Alabama, she don't play that shit, okay? She don't play. I just used to, you know, just chill or whatever. And then, um, so like after I broke up with my ex or whatever, I started like um, experimenting with different wines and stuff. And I started discovering um, different brands. So like one of the first brands I actually discovered, well, I already knew about Arbor Mist, but when I started really drinking it, it was like after I broke up with him. And, oops, um, this one got me together. But um, then I got into barefoot, and barefoot is what I'm gonna start off with. Should I do an alphabetical order? No, bitch, because I'm not even. I don't even know my alphabet right now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh my god, I got hiccups. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> oh, I got hiccups. Okay, I'm sorry. So yeah, girl, barefoot brand is the truth. Okay. Like bad for brands, true. So, one of the things I like about my sister's barefoot is that she always is, she is gonna get you in the mood, okay? Now, barefoot brand is not one to be tampered with. If you think you're gonna get into this and you're not gonna get tipsy off like a first two sips, you are. And I'm letting you know that now. Bradford does not play with you. You want to think that Bradford's gonna play with you? It's not. It's not. It's your own life. Okay? Bradford ain't gonna play the radio with you. So, this very first one that I have that I'm drinking on right now is one of the new ones that I've been drinking. And girl, it's so good. This is the rose. I don't, because I went back and looked, I don't think the camera definitely did not focus. But I will insert like a picture or a clip or something of like how the rosé looks like the actual bottle. But this is the Barefoot Rosé. And this is what I'm drinking right now. Um, on the bottle it says that it is deliciously sweet. And it is deliciously sweet. Anyway. <laughs> I'm so lying y'all. What is wrong with me? Okay. But yeah, it is pretty sweet. It's not like too sweet. But it's sweet, you know what I'm saying? It, it gets you, it gets you, you know, it gets you right. This rosé, it is the the newer one that I have tried and from Barefoot Brand. And this one, I would say it will probably be one of the ones that you would give to, hmm, what would this be for? This would be for if you want to get it to y'all do when he come over and y'all just wanna sip on some rosé and not no henne you know what I'm saying y'all wanna feel fancy or not then you can give your dude some rosé okay now rose, oh it, and then it's also it's like it's real cute for like little lingerie parties and girls nights and stuff like that because of like this shade this hue of pink that it is. And it's more like a peachy color. You might can't see because it's like my my backdrop probably is like blocking it. But it's definitely more of like a peachy color. And um yeah it's really it's not so sweet but it is sweet enough. You know what I'm saying? Let's check the alcohol content. This alcohol content and the rose is ten percent alcohol and 
I, one thing I also love about Barefoot Brand is that, like, on the back label, it tells you, like, the things that would go good with each bottle of wine that you buy. So, um, this one doesn't really do that, but it, t it tells you, like, what flavors you should probably taste in it and stuff like that. Um, a Barefoot Rosé, this one... You should taste like a raspberry, watermelon -y type deal, you know. And um, it says flavors of cherries and sweet citrus complement the smooth, crisp finish. Sweet citrus. I can I can get into the citrus. It is a little citrusy, you know. It's a little pungent. But yeah, it's it. Girl, it's good. I like this. Um. Barefoot ain't no hoe, okay? When I tell you, Barefoot, if you want to get into some good wine and it's not inexpensive and you want to be feeling good, bitch. And talking about, Barefoot is a good wine also to have like after you had a long day, honey. Girl, sit, get you a glass of rosé because I feel good as hell. Like, I, I don't know. I got class at 11 o'clock tomorrow, but do you think I give a damn? I give a f because I don't. I give a <laughs> Cause this wine is good. Mm. Let's get into the gag on this other one. Oh, I wish I could have had that video from because it would not say for nothing. If I want to show y'all, um, the best barefoot um, wine I've had was barefoot Riesling. Okay, it's all uh, it's it's almost this color, but it's more like an orangey color because it had more like peachy flavors to it. Barefoot Riesling. Oh my god, it's so freaking good. Like, I'm gonna insert a picture of the bottle probably right here. Or right here. Or right here. Right here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna insert it somewhere. Girl, if you don't try no other brand, no other flavor of Barefoot Wine, you need to try Riesling, okay? Riesling is the bee's measling, okay? It's so good, girl. And I think with that one, I think that's like 10% alcohol, maybe 9.7%, 9.5%, something like that. And But all of these Barefoot brands get you right. I cannot say that enough, girl. These brands will get you right. I'm not, I'm not playing the radio with y'all ass. It, it will. It will. I'm telling you. If you want to sip some wine with your man... Don't come calling me. I'm, I'm giving you the I'm giving you the elixir. I'm giving you the steps. You know what I'm saying? But what you do with the steps is your business. Don't come calling me when you start sipping barefoot and you end up, I don't know, you end up pregnant, something like that. Don't call me. Because I'm telling you, barefoot will get you right, okay? So, um, yeah, that's um that's my number. Those are the first two that I really, really like. It was Rosé and Riesling. Those are the two I really, really, really recommend. This one, I know y'all seen this girl is a, <laughs> I know y'all seen this bitch is an alcoholic. I am. I am. My name is Jamaica and I'm a wineaholic. And I don't care. Who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna check me? Not a motherfucking fool, okay? No. Um, this is Barefoot Moscato. Now, the first wine I told y'all about, the one I said, um, I tried, what well, was like one of the first wines that I uh, tried, that is also a Moscato. Now, this Moscato, this shit right here, nigga, this, this right here, nigga, this gives the other Moscato a run for its money. Also, you need a corkscrew to take off this one. So that's just like a little reminder. I always have a corkscrew on hand if you want to become, uh, you know, a wine connoisseur like myself. You know, always have you a corkscrew on hand. Also, also always have you like a few of the little corks to pop in there. Like you know the little, you know they have like the little colorful corks and stuff. Or you know it's just the one that came out the bottle. So I just pop this and make it enough because most likely I'm gonna drink the whole bottle in one night anyway. So. This one gives the very first wine brand that I ever had a run for its money. 
when I tell you this one's so, it's not no home. It is so, 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 so good. My best friend, my Quavius, he told me that his cousin tried this. And when I first, I was looking at him, I was like, dang. I was like, I was really like one of the fellows. Like, <laughs> I was just like, because when I see it, when I like something, I like to stick to it, child. Like, girl, my favorite drink is tequila. I love tequila. I stick to tequila. Tequila is what I know. Tequila is what I do. I don't stare from it. I don't like no Hennessy. I, 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 do, I can do whiskey. I like whiskey. I, I can. I, I can get into whiskey. I, I'm playing with a T2 out right now. And I guess it's more for like photography and stuff because it's like, I mean also it's like an older camera. This shit keeps stopping and they keep throwing me off my game. Honey. Who takes that much? Anyway, I'm filming a video. That's what I'm doing. Don't test me. What I'm doing. Because my best friend recommended this from his cousin. I think he said his cousin or his auntie had this one and it was so 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 good. And then when I, I said, okay, if he says it's good, I know it's good because he don't really drink wine like that. And then, so I said, okay, let me, let me go and get into this gig and let me go ahead and try this wine. And girl, when I pop this corkscrew and when I pour it in that glass and when I sip it, when I tell you I sip it and I, and I just took everything in, this shit right here is bomb. Okay, now this is the wine that I would say that you could like drink. You can drink this early. girl. I drink wine all day. Like I don't. It ain't a specific time you can drink wine. It's a specific time you can drink liquor. You know, I, I would put a time limit on liquor. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you walking around with you know tequila on your breath. You know what I'm saying? But wine, it's okay. This is a nice wine. It's like a cute little thing you can drink for breakfast or whatever with your omelet and your French toast and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Girl, this is one of the. Good, this is a good. This is my good sis. This is my good sis. You can drink my good sis right here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, okay? Also, like I said before, one thing I love about like barefoot brands, it also tells you what goes good with it on the back. And I'm just gonna give y'all like a little, you know, like um, overview. But um for it's raining hard outside. Girl, girl, I ain't had that because these lessons been fill <laughs> these lessons been flowing down the street, okay? Okay. I can't even do it, I'm so drunk. Anyway, um, a little like rule of thumb when you thinking about like wine and stuff, white wine goes good with white foods. When I say white foods, I mean pasta, you know, stuff like Alfredo, cheese. I say like pasta, well like white foods, I mean like cheese, pasta, um, Sushi goes really well with sushi. This one goes really well with sushi. And um, the Riesling that I told y'all about, I don't have that one with me, but it tastes so good. I had it with some Japanese food the other day. Girl, girl, when I say that shit was good, it was good, okay? And so, um, yeah, I think white wine tastes really good with. Um, Spicy foods, Asian foods, um, particularly white foods, you know, and red wine tastes, oh, and also pink Moscato, stuff like that, more like the pink flavor, peachy, tone wines, all those taste good with like white foods. Now, red wine tastes good with colored foods. When I say colored foods, I mean like steak, spicy food, you know, like um, if you want to drink it with like soup or stew, something like that. Red wine is like the, the way to go. Oh, and like um, spaghetti, lasagna, um, yeah, basically stuff like that. You, it's like a really good thing to remember. If you want to like have like a, you want to impress your man or you want to impress your girl, you think you know someone like, watch this video and I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know because I am a self proclaimed wine connoisseur. Okay. They would really be impressed once they figure out that you know all this shit. And on top of that, it's on the back of the damn bottle. So, child, all you gotta do is read, read in this one of But yes, girl, back in, let's get back into this year. This wine is very good. I, I feel like it goes really well with, like, breakfast type stuff. You can mix it with um, orange juice and stuff like that. You can make really good analysis. And also, like, I love the fact that they got, like, the little awards on there. And I believe every fucking award they won, honey, because... 
It's some good ass shit, okay? Now, on the back it says, um, it's 9% alcohol. See, now, I don't know that you tell the truth about the alcohol percentage because that's what be having you leaning, ho. Now, um, this one says it is, um, perfect with spicy Asian cuisine. Light desserts, it goes well with desserts as well. Um, fresh fruit, I forgot to say fresh fruit and cheeses. Okay, let's move on to the next one because I probably will split this video up into two. So we we gonna get into this gig plan. I'm just going to my fridge right now. Y'all probably like, girl, what is, what else you gonna pull out of there? That little extra fridge. Girl, you see this refrigerator? You see that it's full of wine, okay? Okay, okay. Now this is we're gonna go to probably we're gonna like slide into the red category, you know, because. I guess this is like um one of off uh, one of the good red um brands. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. This is like my third glass of wine girl, uh, but I'm just I'm a little bit sexy. So this is one of I really am more of a white wine girl. But red, this is one of the few red wines that I like. Um, along with like Stella Rose, and it's like a big like um gallon thing of wine, child. That's some. That's that's another talk for me today. That stuff will have you running off on the toilet, child. That's another talk for another day. But this is a good wine right here because. It's a good red wine, but I particularly like red wines that are more sweet, which is more like what Stella Rose gives you and like Stella Rose Black. If you want like a sweeter red wine, that's like the other way to go. This one, yeah, it's sweet, but it ain't like sweet, you know what I'm saying? I like sweet red wines. I want to taste the fucking berries and cherries and shit, you know what I'm saying? I like the sweet, you know? But this is actually like a good happy medium if you don't like wines that are too sweet. You don't like them. There's two dry, barefoot, sweet red blend, um, California, and it's smooth and sweet. And it is, I give you that, honey. It is pretty smooth. I like it. It's, I, I like it for me. You know, it's an acquired taste. When, I, when you know what my taste, an acquired taste, that means like it's kind of nasty, but it's kind of good. And, <laughs> and also, I like the fact that this one also says like on the back where it goes well, you we know, like where it pairs well. We. It says it pairs well with marinated steak, grilled vegetables, let's see, and all spicy treats. So this is something that you would um, pull out if you wanna. You have you do cook some steak with your for your bay. You know what I'm saying? You wanna pull out some wine, but not too sweet, not too. You know, some of them this one like set the saltiness of the steak off. You know what I'm saying? This will balance it out real well. You know. So yeah, I do recommend this wine because. Just because it's like something for everyone, you know, it's not too sweet, it's not too dry. You know what, maybe I should, um, sample it. Cause I kinda, I kinda forgot, you know, I, I don't remember how it tastes, so let's just, yeah, taste, okay? How would I ever remember how it tastes? Oh my, I would never remember how this wine tastes, so let me go ahead and get into it really quick. Oh my. Okay. I'm gonna get another wine glass, honey. I have two up here. Oh, you have two. Okay, we're gonna do a lot of shot glasses. Girl, you, that's how you know this channel's gonna be ratchet. Cause, honey, if you're taking wine out of shot glasses, that's how you know this channel's gonna be ratchet, child. Because if you're taking wine out of shot glasses, it's a problem. Okay? It's a serious problem. But I am a problem, so I mean it's what it is. 